Okay, so what I want to do here um, to and publish this open source on like the AWS samples library after it gets reviewed and everything is to create a um, disease detection um, tool. Um, so uh, th that first part is just pure computer vision, um, like detecting Oh, here is a diseased part of a plant, and and this is what it is. Like, um, you know, this is a spotty disease. Let's say I'm making it up. This is spotty. This is spotty plant disease. Um, so that is all just a computer vision model. So I'm going to try to use the AWS native tool. Uh, Amazon recognition for that. Um, the reason I'm showing this website is because here is a public data set for exactly this use case. Um, and it's like in the common domain as long as I uh, give, uh, I think the folks here at RoboFlow um, or, or Sing it all, as long as I reference this data set and this source, um, mm allowed to freely use it. Um, so yeah, so that's step one. And then how does LLMs come into it? That's for um, giving the instructions on how to treat the plant. So okay. imagine you're like in the field, uh, a farmer, uh, you hold up um, your iPhone to the plant and it not only labels the disease for you, it instantly tells you what you should do to treat that plant. And, um, you know, this is the kind of thing where you don't want to rely on the internal knowledge of the model uh, because we're talking about plant lives here. Uh, we can't mess up, um, so, you know, human lives, plant lives. Um, and uh, so we want to use retrieval augmented generation RAG um, to actually look up what to do for that disease. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, if, it's actually pretty simple because RAG has been solved. Computer vision has been solved. Mm. Uh, we have a great data set here mm. so this might be pretty quick i mean famous last words always right this might be pretty quick um but um i feel pretty confident that's great so in the rag rates are we going to use this roboflow data set to build a rag uh, because obviously right in rag we will upload i mean we will create the burning based on our data. So is that the RoboFlow is the data set that we'll be using? I don't think so. Um, I think we will be using this to train the computer vision model. Uh -huh. um, I think, I don't think this includes instructions on what to do to help the plant. Okay. So um, we may need to uh, either create synthetic data um because it's just to prove out like the flow of this you know um mm. other people can then take this architecture and you know if this is like an agriculture company they can take or even a small business that specializes in certain plants they can take their data set um and put that into the uh, embeddings model and uh, that way uh, they can onboard new people faster. Mm, okay. And this is data set, right? Uh, if, they, if it has for images, does it, uh, okay, probably I think we, uh, do you know what, what I'm asking is, do we know what are the types of plants that we are interested? Um, like just, I don't know, not much into, right? Agree. Um, like, 
what are the crops if it's a very a direct example right like what are the crops that we are interested when i say crop the plants right related to the crop and then now uh, the question is whether the plant dog has all those uh images labeled images for those plants right so that we covering our need actually right yeah um so i think with that too um we're not uh, too concerned about the end okay. product, but more about um, setting up the architecture Got it. And, and just proving proving the architecture. Um, okay. It sense. looks like, um, yeah, I don't know like what type of plants are covered here. Mm. But, Got it, okay. Yeah. And then, you know, presumably a, um, Uh, presumably, a um, a company like um, let's say they're specialized in lavender farming. I mm. love lavender farms; they look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, presumably they could um, take. Um, you know, they might have some historical images of diseases on their iPhone, um, and then they can start with this public data set. But then augment it, um, you know, um, do continuous, continued pre training, so to speak. And this is not LLMs, but for the computer vision model, uh, you know, I think with model uh, services like recognition, you can continue mm -hmm. tuning the custom recognizer. Um, so they can then upload their images of their own crops and the labels they've given it as lavender experts. Got it, yeah. Um, so I'm curious here what type, um, what type, oh, download, oh, show download code, interesting or download zip to computer and select format. So um, I thought these are just gonna be, um, oh, TensorFlow TF record. Uh, that's what I was dealing with, with our distilling step-by-step. -step. See how it all comes together? Yeah. Um, yeah, a very confusing record because it doesn't look like anything when you just open it in, in a regular file. Uh, like regular text editor. Um, so before I do that, I was expecting that, oh, I guess um, the reason they're talking about CSV or JSON is that's probably, yes, it downloads images in like JPEG, but then separately it might have like a metadata file. Mm -hmm. Um so mm, I guess we'll see. Um so I'll just go for it. Um I'm inclined to do one of the CSV formats. Um Used with TensorFlow, usually converted before training, so you probably want to export as a TF record instead, unless you need to expect the human readable CSV. Okay, so TF record is one of the most common ones for training. Mm -hmm. The ones looking at from the tr generated by Transformers library. However, it's not human readable, so uh, CSV is a good uh, thing for initial uh, data exploration. Okay, um, so I'm going to download this data set and um, I'll show you in a second what I have here. Okay, I'm going to share my finder. Oh, there we go. Um,
So, yeah. All these different diseases. Well, mm. plants. I'm 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 glad it's plants though. I don't think I could handle looking at human diseases. Mm. Um, I don't think I'm cut out to be a doctor. Um, y max, x max, y min. Okay, so this is the bounding boxes. Mm -hmm. It's and then the disease, and then the height of the the proportions of the bounding box, and then the file name. Mm. That makes total sense. Very straightforward. Very small data set. Just, you know, what it is, where it is. And yeah, what it is and where it is. <laughs> so um, now let's take a look at, I haven't, um, I don't think I've ever made custom models in Amazon recognition. I know it's something you can do. Mm -hmm. So let's see how far we can get with that. I'm guessing as a managed service, we can just drop in the data set. Uh, we might need to format that CSV file a bit. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm guessing we can just drop it in as a CSV um, and then upload the images and just let it run and then test it. Um, and then we can shift gears while that runs. Um, we can shift gears to the RAG component. So this has changed since I last looked at this like a year ago. Um, they keep adding new features, which is good. Um, but I'm guessing this is, it should be custom labels. So um, find objects and scenes unique to your business. Mm -hmm. Build your own custom machine learning model to find objects and scenes unique to your business. No machine learning experience required. Uh, create the project, create the data set, label the images. So steps two and three are complete. Um, and then uh, step four, uh, train model, and then evaluate and use model. Um, So let's get started. Um, okay, it'll create a custom, it'll create an S3 bucket for me for this project. Hmm. And um, I like to skip tutorials and just build. <laughs> um, okay, so it created the S3 bucket. Um, and now we create the project and let's call it, um, what do we call this? Plant disease management. Oh, how about plant doctor? That's mm -hmm. more fun. Um, create project. Um, create data set. Start with a single data set. Okay, so um, yeah, I I wanted to just do the data split for me. You know, since so this is recommended for most users, but they set this as a default. <laughs> so mm. um, also, you know, um, this way. Yeah, that just sounds like less work to get started. Um, and then upload images from your computer. So only 30 images at a time. OK, I'm going to do it to S3 bucket. Um, so I'll put it in that folder. Oh, and you can auto assign image level labels to images based on the folder name. Uh, this type of stuff is um, reminds me a little bit of fine tuning stable diffusion type of stuff. Mm. Um, ooh, I love it when they provide helpful links. That's amazing. Um, 
Okay, so, um, and they even tell me exactly where to put it. Um, okay. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to just hide my screen for a second so you can, until I select the folder. Oh, actually, um, uh, um, the, the RoboFlow data set, it already uh, separates out the training and like validation, validation data. Because I see this folder there probably, right? When right. Yeah. So actually, maybe we should choose that other option. Um, if we go back. Start with a training data set and a test. Yeah, we have train and test. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, so okay, uh, we'll have we'll ha we'll just put them in two separate folders and then tell recognition where those folders are. Hmm. Um. So. Um. Okay, so uh, sorry for uh, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm in here right now. Um, I'm trying to think if we want to. Um, oh, 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 I know. Um, okay, yeah. Um, I'll just select the. I'll select the the train folder, and that way it'll also hopefully automatically create another uh, prefix in S3. It'll create the train prefix if I select that as the folder. Um, so I'm going to do that on a different screen briefly. Add folder. And I'll show you now what I'm doing. Uh, so yes, upload. Oh, yep, and it automatically is putting it in train, which is where it came from locally. Um, so that's just 8.5 megabytes. They're not that high resolution. Mm -hmm. um, so that shouldn't take that long. Um, 20, 20 minutes. Um, and maybe uh, I'll, I'll just start another um, upload in parallel. Um, not because that makes sense um, network-wise, but just so that I don't forget what I'm doing. Um, so You might be able to follow along in your account without too much cost, if any. Um, I think services like recognition often have a like a one month free tier. I don't mm -hmm. know if that includes um, a custom labels, but maybe it does. Um, you can check the pricing if you're curious. Mm. Um, OK, so oh, yeah. So now I'm um, going to upload the test data set as well. So the test data set is 240. So um, what is that, like a 80-20 80, 80, split? Uh, that seems like um, more of a 90-10 split. Mm -hmm. Because it's like uh, two thousand something and two hundred something. Yeah. Oh no, that's total remaining files. So maybe it's uh, so maybe it's even less than twenty uh, ten percent. Mm. 
Okay, so while that's running, I can specify the locations in S3 that it's uploading to. So um, train for the first one. Um, it always needs that forward slash. Okay. And then test for this one. And then, yeah, I hope the labeling uh, part is going to be in a separate step because um, because it's not like part of the structure. Mm. Um, and these two, like they mentioned, labels. Um, you can automatically add labels based on your, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I hope there's a separate step where I'll, I'll be able to add it, but we'll see. Um, so 16 minutes left. Okay, so while that runs, we can start on the rag portion. Mm. And um, so this really is just, um, you know, you're gonna take the output of the recognition telling you that um, such and such picture is like, um, let me look up the annotation file. It's a, well, um, it's a, it's a virus. It's going to say it's a virus with 90% uh, accuracy. And then, and then I just look up um, in the embeddings data set. Oh, okay, embeddings, embeddings data set. Um, so let's figure out what we're going to use for that. Um, so um, do we create, um, uh, no, uh, um, Oh. Help me find a uh, um, plant. I don't know the terminology here. <laughs> like it's plant. Um, help me find. Uh, um, Oh, right. It doesn't need to be a data set even or a database because um, the whole point of RAG is it doesn't need structured data. Um, so, you know, I, I almost want to use Q for this at first, Amazon Q, mm -hmm. although I don't know if you can invoke searches via uh, API yet. I think you can just create Q uh, environments with API um, and then it's fully intended to just be used via like um, UI interaction. Um, but I've been playing a bit more with Amazon Q uh, and something really cool about it is that you don't need to think about the rag mm. component. You can um, add did I show you how you can just add like Wikipedia as a web crawler? Oh, is it? Uh, also, you can add that to the queue? Yeah, you can add like um, various websites um, and it'll crawl it for you. Got it. Okay. And then you can ask questions of those websites in queue along with your internal data. Yeah, good. So I think that reminds me, um, when I was looking at some of my use case, uh, the long chain has similar sort of pipeline they do, right? Where they have data loader, where it can load oh. any of your CSV, PDF, ta, all the different input data formats, right? And then 
yeah they also use the obviously to build your rag uh, embedding and then everything is sort of pipeline is created yeah right so um that's uh this is this is uh like that line chain feature mm. but for people who don't want to code yeah um okay so the data set contains images um images okay mm -hmm. um i don't want labeled images i want um a comprehensive guide on how to treat uh, these diseases uh, a comprehensive written guide But well, you need the uh, labeled images, right? When I say labeled images, labels with saying that, okay, this is the disease of this plant. And in the text, you need the treatment, right? You don't need that because then how, then, uh, I know when you train it, okay, you're saying that your training will give you, the trained model will give you the, diagnosis part of it right basically saying that this is the decision yeah. okay gotcha right the like um the data the model we're creating will give us a diagnosis but mm. yeah basically at the high level two components that i see right here diagnosis and the treatment yep. yeah okay mm. diagnosis computer vision treatment embeddings and okay. and llm Let me also search. So what is the data set? Thank you. what is is there a site that's like webmd for plants <laughs> Ooh. of course oregon state university has that <laughs> mm. uh, pacific northwest you know uh, they do Agriculture. I mean, um, they care a lot about plants up there. I lived there for two years. That's good. Ooh. Okay, so maybe we'll end up um, like taking you know, like 30 different documents from various places um, and using that as the um, as the knowledge base. Mm Um, okay, so we've got, I think I, this is not exactly what we are looking for, but I think this is a good source. Again, this is for our input, right? I mean, with hmm. from uh, National Library of Medicine, obviously, it's more of it's from the .gov, right? Obviously, hmm. another good uh, training data set, probably. Data set, yeah. And that might be helpful, actually. To we could potentially use many uh, training data sets. Hmm. 
not just uh, the first one. Yeah. Biology and management of beet leafhopper and purple top in potatoes in the Pacific Northwest. I guess the final um, solution, it would be also good to just include a nice little UI um, so people can upload the image. Yeah. So this is pretty nuanced. It's not like if this then do that but right. that might be nice to have in the knowledge base so that it provides it provides nuance in the answers Okay, so look at this data set. Let me see. I think this is exactly, I believe, what we are looking for, but I don't know whether this is open source. Uh, I just pinged. Because they said that. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yeah, this data set can be, look, for, look at the description. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a perfect title. Diagnosis and recommended remedy. Yep. Amazing. Wow. It says we can build the recommended systems using that. Oh my gosh. Is it from the same, uh, any of the same authors from that RoboFlow? Because you know, the RoboFlow, the data set that you were looking at, hmm. the author, one of them is from IIT, Indian Institute of Technology, which hmm. is the most uh, sought after from uh, India. Like the MIT of India? Exactly. So, yeah. Um, Pratik is not there, but I, okay. Yep. Yeah, but uh, maybe one of the other authors. Um, here. Tavinder Singh, Naman Jain, Jain, Kayal, Kumavat, and Batra. Uh, no. No, they are sent to a different group. Yep. They probably know of, of each other. They're yeah. working with AI, <laughs> AI and agriculture. Right. And they're both, both from Indian Institute of Technology. That's what you were saying, right? They're both. Yeah, I know. Uh, I take it, but the this author is from IIT, but they are from Indian Institute of Information Technology. I think that's uh, different. Uh, yeah. Okay. I I I T. Yeah. It, this is I A F T. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're right. I I T. Triple A T. Um. Yeah, and this data set is public, right? Yeah, they say access yeah. data set. Okay. Attribution. So, um. Both of them are not Creative Commons. They're Creative Commons attribution. Mm -hmm. um, it's like CC plus person. So like I can use it, but I need to um, reference. Okay. Reference them. Mm -hmm. um, this is, okay, great. So let's see what we what this is. Um, oh no, I didn't download it yet. Um, Oh. 
how do I access this data set, please? Mm. Login. No. Um, hmm. Okay, I can look into that. Um, but um, okay, this is almost done. Yeah, but it looks really promising if I once I'm able to access it. Um, and then. Um, yeah, and then, um, yeah, which, which, uh, embeddings model? I think, um, Bedrock currently has one embeddings model, and that is, um, Titan. Oh, no, we have more. Great. So we do have the cohere embeddings models as well. So I'll probably start off with the cohere ones. I'm curious to learn more about them. And um, probably English is going to be fine because I think the data sets are in English. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's called embed English model. Which supports extraction and question answering, of course. OK, cool. So I think um, we're, we're getting I feel like this is so much more straightforward than the last thing we were doing because we're using these managed services and um, it's a very well defined like mm. high level thing. Um, okay, well, um, I'll let you go. We're at time. Thank you so much, um, MK, for speeding up my research here. Thank you. Yeah, sure. And. Um, I'm going to stop presenting. Um, you want to come?